Now, Eddie Marcus again, ladies and gentlemen, this is a public service announcement for me as a candidate uh, for President of the United States, a write-in. And it says, as President of 2020, I promise to give you a voice in your government beyond the vote. You say you want peace and prosperity and freedom and the joy of life. I will show you how, but you will have to do it. First, everyone wants to benefit, but everyone will have to work until the results of this, and even after it happens, is maintained. This is the new future, the one that you have been denied, the one that calls for you to present yourself in your purest form. I'm not in here for playing games. I'm not looking out for the blacks any more than I'm looking out for the whites. I'm not looking out for men any more than I'm looking out for women. And I'm not looking out for what we call Americans any more than we do any of the other citizens in this country. And what I advocate for America, peace, prosperity, and the joy of life, this is what I also advocate for my neighbors around the world. I'm looking for peace in Russia and prosperity and joy of life for every Russian. I'm doing the same thing for every Chinese and every North Korean. And in Venezuela, I'm looking for the same thing. In Cuba, the same thing. In Africa, the same thing. This thing about pop, this hell has got to go. Put it that way. It's time for this hell to go and for thy will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. And everybody who believes in that, everybody who wants to prove that this is real, then you stand with the proposal, not me. The proposal, because they will take me out. The proposal is still here. The idea is still here. So if they take me out, who of you? will carry forward. This is the same thing that happened when Jesus was here. The message was true. But who, when they take him out, would stand up? Now, I know many of you don't believe in Jesus. But that doesn't take away from the story. It doesn't take from away from the story at all because the story is the imagination. And that is where all of the secrets lie in the imagination. Bye-bye.